the NFL season is right around the corner. And lucky for you, I got the dates that you guys should mark on your calendar for the best NFL games to watch throughout the season. Now, keep in mind, this is no divisional game, so I'm not including interdivisional games when they play like Eagles, Cowboys, or Dolphins, Jets, or Dolphins, Bills. None of those games. These are all non-divisional games. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go week by week through the season. I don't have games for every week, but for the games I do, Starting off with Detroit versus Kansas City, opener Thursday night football. That's going to be a great test for Detroit because everyone's hyping up Detroit. They were good last year. They made some good improvements this offseason. We're week one right out the gate. We're going to get to see, is this team kind of a legit team? Will they, they don't have to beat Kansas City, but if they hang with Kansas City, we can start talking about this team, how some people are, but... It's a good little line test for Detroit. That's why I have that one in week one. Other than that, week one isn't that strong. We have a couple good divisional games, but that's the one I'm looking forward to. Then weeks two and three aren't that great. But then when we go to week four is when I have my next game. Week four, we got Kansas City versus the New York Jets in New York on Sunday night. October 1st is the date for that game. It's going to be a great game for the Jets because the Jets... With Aaron Rodgers and some new pieces, I expect them to take a couple weeks to kind of get going. Aaron Rodgers' first year in there, the codes are kind of mesh, but by week four, they should have some things kind of figured out, and they get to play Kansas City, and that's another good kind of litmus test to see, hey, is this Jets team a real contender, or are they phonies? And that's why Kansas City is a perfect team, because we know Kansas City is going to be good. So they're the great test to see, hey, are you a really good team, or are you kind of a phony? So get that week four moving on. Week six, we got Seahawks at the Bengals on October 5th. I think both of these teams could be 5-0 and and going into this game in week six. I'm really high on Seattle. I think they're going to be really good. They don't have like the hardest first five weeks. And then the Bengals, the Bengals. We know the Bengals are going to be great with Joe Burrow. So I think this is going to be a really good test. NFC versus AFC, a game we don't see very often. In fact, we see this game once every four years. And I think Seahawks could be a top three or four team in the NFC. I think Bengals are top three, uh, top probably top three team in the AFC. So we're going to get a really good battle here um, of two of the best teams in their respective conferences. Coming up next week in week seven, we got one of my favorite games I'm really looking forward to is Miami at Philadelphia on a Sunday night, October 22nd. That game could be a shootout. I mean, I think Miami is going to be really good this year. I may have a slight little bet on Miami to win the Super Bowl. Don't tell nobody, though, but I might. But anyways, Miami is coming in that game. They're going to have a high-flying offense. Philly, we know, is going to have a high-flying offense. This could be a classic. This could be a classic Sunday night game. I mean, don't be surprised if there's like 70-plus points scored in this game. It's going to be a really fun one to watch, probably. Then, Week 8, I know most of these have been like good teams, litmus test kind of teams. This is a game I'm really excited for in any other college football draft nerds. Mark this date on week eight. We have Texans at Panthers. Potentially, CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young get to see the top two picks go head to head. I'm really excited for that one. I think, I'm pretty sure Bryce Young's going to be playing by then, and I hope Stroud is too. By week eight, hopefully both of those two dudes are playing. So scratch this game off the list if those two aren't. But we could get Bryce Young versus CJ Stroud week eight. Then week nine. Week nine is the best week of the season already. By looking at the schedules, hear me out. We got starting off with Miami at Kansas City. That's a hell of a game. Like that's another just complete offensive showcase. Tyreek Hill return game. He's been talking a little, little crap with like Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. Let's see what he says in person at Kansas City. Tyree Kill making his return. Then Sunday night football that same week, we get Buffalo at Cincinnati. I mean, that's a classic revenge playoff game. Buffalo, or Buffalo got knocked out by Cincinnati in the playoffs last year. That's just a classic. I mean, obviously. And then also, those are my top two games. But also that week, we have Chargers at Jets on Monday night football, which I think is going to be a good game too. I mean, Chargers at Jets, that's, uh, you know, Herbert versus Rodgers, another really good game. And then Philly-Dallas is that week, too. I don't want to include division games, so it's not, like, my highlight, but I just want to show how good Week 9 is. We get Philly-Dallas, Chargers-Jets, KC-Miami, and buffalo Cincy. Whew, those are, like, all potential playoff matches. Obviously, Chargers and Jets, or no, they could be, yeah, those could be, all be potential playoff matches in Week 9. So that's going to be an incredible week of football. That's November 2nd and 3rd. Mark your calendars. Make sure you don't plan anything for November 2nd or the night of November 3rd because there's a lot of really good football on those two days. Next up, 
Week 10, I have another interesting one. Not the best teams, but we got Carolina at Chicago. Potential Bryce Young revenge game? Chicago traded out of a Bryce Young opportunity, stuck with Fields. We're going to get Fields versus Young. Hey, maybe this is when Chicago gets to see. Did we make the right choice? You know, personally, as just a fan of chaos, I hope Bryce Young goes out there and burns them for 300 yards and whoops them. And then Chicago's like, wow, we really passed on this dude. But could go the other way. Justin Fields could go out there, run for 300 yards, throw for another 200, and then just torch them. And then the Chicago's like, yeah, we made the best decision possible. But I think that's going to be a really interesting game to see. Could be a little, it's not going to tell us if the decision was right to trade out or not, but it's a, it's, it's a good mark on whether or not that was a good trade or not in week 10. Moving on, we got week 11, Super Bowl rematch, Kansas City versus Philadelphia in Kansas City on Monday Night Football, November 20th, mark your calendars, that's going to be a hell of a game. There's been a little trash talking back and forth, most of it was Juju who's not even there anymore, but nonetheless, that's going to be an incredible game. Rematch at Super Bowl is an incredible game, I expect this one to be just as good. Um, both teams coming off a bye too, you know, Andy Reid off of a bye. We'll, we'll see how that game goes, it's going to be a fun one in week 11. Then week 12, this is the Philly stretch. I know I'm a Philly fan, and you're like, wow, all these Philly games. But Philly goes from Kansas City, week 11, to Buffalo, week 12, November 26, Buffalo at Philly. I th These two teams play, like I said, once every four years. We haven't really gotten to see. Last time uh, Josh Allen played Philly, he was a rookie, I believe, or it's his second year. But he, w he hadn't turned into Josh Allen yet. So this is the first time Josh Allen, as Josh Allen, has played Philly in Philly. Another hell of a game. And then week 13, I said the Philly Shirts, you go Kansas City, Buffalo, and then the Cry Babies are playing at Philadelphia. Yes. Debo Samuel, the Cry Baby, and the 49ers are playing at Philadelphia. Maybe they'll actually have a quarterback and they can't just keep complaining about getting their ass whooped in the playoffs this time. Who knows? But December 3rd, they're going to get silenced and show, yeah, you never stood a chance in that playoff game. And then also that week, we have Cincinnati at Jacksonville on Monday Night Football. That's going to be an incredible game. Um, you know, Cincinnati, great team. Jacksonville, I think they're going to be really good, especially Trevor Lawrence. Taking that next step, he showed tons of potential last year. Let's see him take that next step. And I think Jacksonville could be a really good team. So that's why I have that game on there. Week 14, we got the Classic. We get it every year. Buffalo at Kansas City. We don't actually get it every year, but it just somehow has happened almost every year. But Buffalo at Kansas City, December 10th. I don't have to say much more about that game. Mark your calendars. That's a great game. Week 16, I got the Ravens at the Crybabies on Monday Night Football. That's Christmas for you. I think those are two really good defenses. So it'll be really interesting. Lamar versus that Crybaby defense. And then just what that Ravens defense is. I think that'll be a really good game on Christmas. Good Christmas night game for you there. And then we got Cincinnati at Kansas City. On New Year's Eve, I don't got to say, that's just like the other ones, I don't got to say much more about Kansas City versus Cincy. Somehow, yet again, they're playing for the third year in a row. Those They just love giving Can Kansas City all these best matchups. And hey, we love it as fans. We love seeing these games. KC fans probably don't like it, but hey, Cincy KC. And then also, we have another one I wanted to mention in week 17 is Panthers at Jags. That's going to be an interesting where it could be Bryce Young, Number one pick, really hyped up prospect, versus Trevor Lawrence, former number one, really hyped prospect. I, if like I said, if you're a college football draft nerd, this game's gonna really be fun. Bryce Young versus Trevor Lawrence. If if you're kind of just an NFL guy, you don't care about the draft in college football, you probably don't care about this game. But for us draft nerds, Bryce Young versus Trevor Lawrence is gonna be a hell of a show for us. That's week 17. Then last week of the season is pretty much all divisional matchups. I love how the NFL does that. And so I try to guess a couple games that might mean a lot. And my first one is Atlanta at New Orleans. There's a potential this could be winner wins the NFC South, loser misses the playoffs. It probably won't happen like that. But if it does, that's incredible because I think those are the two top teams in the NFC South. So Atlanta at New Orleans could be really good last week of the season. Maybe winner, winner makes it. It could be a potential elimination game. I would love for that. And we got Minnesota versus Detroit. Could that be for a playoff spot, you know? Probably the two top teams there in the NFC West, or NFC North, sorry. Two top teams in the North. Could could it be for a playoff spot? Minnesota, Detroit, that could be a really good game. And then all of the AFC East plays each other, basically, you know, in two different matchups, so that could be any of them. But those are my top games to watch out for. Keep in mind, there's some of the great divisional games, like I said. 
like different interdivisional, you know, like you always have like Bengals, Ravens, all those other games. But I try to keep it on I like really interesting storylines of these. Obviously more storylines are gonna be created throughout the off season, into the season that make games better. To be teams that come out of nowhere and are really good and just make teams better. But these are just my instant like, hey, these games you got Mark Calendar, I know they're gonna be good. You know, there's obviously gonna be games that are good. These aren't the only good games, but these are ones that I'm fairly certain are going to be really good games. And as I'm doing college football games tomorrow, keep that out. I'll keep you the best college football games to watch out for the season. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for showing support, and I'll see you tomorrow.